Handicapper Steve Pierre handicapping the racing from Santa Anita Park here on Saturday. It is the 2nd of October 2021. We're going to look at the stakes races on the program from The Great Race Place. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Let's look at the stakes action from Santa Anita races 3, 8, 9, 10, and 11. The third race, it is the City of Hope Mile. It's a grade 2 event going for a purse $200,000. Race for three year olds and upwards. We have a field of five horses heading to the lawn. The distance of ground is 1600 meters, or the distance of ground of one mile on the Santa Anita turf course. 1600 meters, one mile. And the opener, or in the third race, not the opener, top selection. I'm going to go with the three horse hit the road. 3 5 2 in the tri cash trifecta. 3 5 2 tri cash trifecta. Top selection of three horse hit the road. Four year old Colt by more than ready. Diane Blacker trains. Flora Giroux gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing, first off the bench, came the 21st of August at Del Mar. One mile in the Del Mar mile handicap, and he finished third by a length there. And, you know, he just kind of plowed along and never could get the good turn of foot. Also had a little bit of a troubled, troubled trip in the final two. Coming here second off the bench, a little a better wider turf course we could get a better trip i think he's sitting on a lot better run two back here in the makers mark maya keelan one mile on the 9th of april and he finished fifth by three and three quarter lengths there he sat back early a little bit of a turn of foot but nobody was catching raging bull um and then before that in the kilroy mile at santina one mile on the 6th of march he won by a neck he stalked early on got the lead and he got the job done with a long drive a very good race there um before then the thunder road at santina one mile on the 6th of february he won by three and three quarter lengths and again from his time he was a little bit wide, but he won for fun. That was a very good race and a very good ride by Umberto Raspoli that afternoon. Um, and then prior to that, he ran the ocean side of 2020 at Del Mar at one mile on the turf, winning by one and three quarter lengths. Stupidly wide, a little bit of a tough, tough trip that day, but he got the job done late after all said and done. Again, great ride by Umberto Raspoli in his freshman campaign that day. Uh, he's been, he's, he's, since coming to America, he's been running lights out on the turf in Santa Anita and in Del Mar. But uh, coming here, he gets Florangeru up off some decent and races let's use them so to recount my selection of a third from Santinia it's a city of hope mile let's take the three horse hit the road three five two in the tri cash trifecta so we're going to head over to race number eight now from Santinia which is the Santa Anita sprint championship it's a great two event going for a purse of two hundred thousand dollars races for three-year-olds and upwards we have six horses going the distance of ground of 1200 meters with the distance of ground of six furlongs on the Santinia main track 1200 meters six furlongs here my top selection, we're going to go with the number five horse here. The number five horse who is Flagstaff. 5416 in the Super Factor for me. 5416 Super. Top selection of five horse Flagstaff. Several Gilded by Spice Town. John Sadler trains. Joe Bravo gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 28th of August at Del Mar. Seven prongs in the Pan O'Brien. And the horse finished third by one three quarter lengths. He sat back early, was stupidly, stupidly wide. Uh, you know, he, he was closing up well late, but, you know, seven prongs off the bench maybe got to him cutting back to six today back to santina where he's run sneaky well in the past i really think he can run a good race two back around the true north at belmont six and a half furlongs the fourth of june and he finished second by one and a quarter lengths nobody's catching friends fire who freaked that day this horse just kind of plodded along and was drifting late which probably cost him a little bit more also it just wasn't his day to win and then the churchill down stakes at churchill seven furlongs first of may winning by head he had a long drive that day was stupidly wide but he got there in the nick of time a very very good race um and then prior to that the Commonwealth of Keelan, 7 for long start of April. Absolutely killer ride by, um, what's his name that day? Uh, Joel Rosario, winning by one and a quarter lengths there. He sat back early, you know, had to get a, you know, clear running room. But when he did, he got the job done. A very, very good race. Earning a 94 buyer, but, you know, that ride by Rosario was golden. Getting Joe Bravo up today, who's running very well in Southern California since moving here in the past summer. 7-2, to two, let's use him. To recap my selection for the 8th from Santinia, it's the Santinia Sprint Championship. Let's take the 5 horse Flagstaff, 5-4-1-6 in the Super Facta. The ninth race, heading back to the Hillside Turf Course, it's the Rodeo Drive Stakes. It's a great one event going for a purse of $300,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of nine horses going the distance of ground here of 2,000 meters or the distance of ground of a mile and a quarter on the Santina Hillside Turf Course. 2,000 meters, a mile and a quarter. Well, it starts on the hillside, but you know. 
and it's good. We have a hillside turf race today. Also, the uh, I think the fifth race is going down the hill. And tomorrow you have the Unzip Me, which is the opener on the hillside. I love those races. I like the longer races too, especially. But um, my top selection here in the uh, I was going to say Yellow Ribbon used to be known as the Yellow Ribbon, but now it's known as the Rodeo Drive. Uh, I'm going to go with the number seven horse here, Magic Attitude Seven One Four Three in the Super Factor for me. Seven One Four Three Super Top Selection Seven Horse Magic Attitude. Four-year-old filly by Galileo, Arno Delacour trains. John Velasquez gets the mount. The horse's most recent nine came the 17th of July at Saratoga. Monleith on the inner and the Diana handicap. And the horse went to six by four and three quarter lengths there. And just didn't show a lot that day. It was, you know, just lacks a day. go a little bit wide and just never got into it. Going to a mile and a quarter where he'll, he'll see a lot quicker pace in front of him. I think she, she could run a better race. Two back in the New York at Belmont. A yielding to her, of course, mile and a quarter, fourth of June. And the horse went to seventh by 13 and three quarter lengths. She likes better ground. There was a deluge of range right before the race, which cost her. She just never really got into it. Uh, and then before that, in the Sheep's Head Bay at Belmont, Mount Rates first May on a very quick turf course, winning by three lengths. She sat back early, stupidly wide, but she took off clear late. A very, very good race. And then prior to that in the Hillsborough, Tampa, one mile late the 6th of March, finished seven by one three quarter lengths. She wanted to go, but Julian Leperu didn't want to let her go. I think she was just a little bit too game first off the bench. And then prior to that in the QE2 Cup at Keeneland, a mile late on the 10th of October. She finished third by one three quarter lengths. She sat back early. A really good turn a foot late. Nothing bad for the North America debut, uh, and then the, uh, for the sophomore debut in America, and then the North America freshman campaign was the 19th of September at Belmont, a mile a quarter in the Belmont Oaks last year. Went by two and a quarter lengths. Again, stupidly wide, but she got the job done very nicely there. I think she wants to go a mile and a quarter. She wants to see a very fast turf of course, which she'll get. Again, John Velasquez up at 5 to 1. Let's use her. To recap my selection now for the ninth from Santinia, it is the Grade One Rodeo Drive. Let's take the the seven horse Magic Attitude. We'll go seven one four three in the Super Facta. The featured tenth race. It is the Awesome Again Stakes. It's a Grade One event going for a purse of three hundred thousand dollars. Race for three year olds and upwards. We have a field of eight horses. A very good field of eight horses going the distance of ground of eighteen hundred meters, or the mile and eighth trip on the Santinia main track. Eighteen hundred meters, a mile and eighth in the Awesome Again. Formerly known as the Good One, when Goodwood, when it was run as the uh, Oak Trade Santina meeting, but uh, the top selection for me, a horse I love a lot, is the Eight Horse Idol. I'm gonna go eight three five one in the Superfecta, eight three five one Super top selection, Eight Horse Idol, four year old Colt by Curlin, Richard Baltus trains, Joe Joe Bravo gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came the sixth of March here at Santina, a mile and a quarter in the Santina handicap, and the horse went by half length. And he sat back early. He slowly moves his way up, and, and it takes him all the time to get going. But when he got going, he was just chugging along late, beating home a decent group of horses. Coming here off a long refreshing to a mile and eighth, which might be actually a little bit too short. He looks like he's a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half even better for him. But coming here today off the bench. I really think he run a good race. He's a very cool horse. Like I said, I, he, he he's a through and through mile and a quarter, you know, marathon distance kind of horse. And I, I'm, if he does good today, you know, he's going to be a horse you want to keep an eye out in the Brewers Cup Classic. Uh, two back were in the San Pasquale at Santino, mile on the 8th and 30th of January. And he finished third by three and three quarter lengths there. He had a little bit of trouble trip, closed up well late. You know, nothing bad about that race. Uh, well, one bad thing, he was even money favorite. Should have ran a little bit better. And then before that in San Antonio at Santino, a mile 16th on Boxing Day. Put a second by a half length. You know, kissed Toddy goodbye. Just outgamed him. This horse just really couldn't get there late, but wasn't a bad race. First time stakes quite of horses. And then a lounge race, 83,000 at uh, Churchill, mile 316th of November. Winning by five to quarter lengths. Closing up from nowhere. Like I said, takes some time to get going. Took a good field of the, uh, took good advantage of that long stretch at Churchill. And uh, he, he went away with it. A very, very good run. Like I said, as the distances get longer, he's going to get better. 5-1, to one, you know, it, what scares me a little bit is that bench, uh, off the bench, but I think he definitely went on paper, so let's use him. So to recap my selection for the 10th from Santanita, it is the awesome again. Let's take the 8-horse idol. We'll go 8-3-5-1 in the Superfacta. The 11th race from the great race place, the nightcap. It is the John Henry Turf Championship. It's a grade two event going for a purse $200,000. Race for three year olds and upwards. We have a field of 13 horses, a baker's dozen. Again, starting on the hillside turf course, the distance of ground of 2,000 meters or a mile a quarter on the Santita turf course. 2,000 meters, a mile a quarter here in the John Henry. 
In my top selection, we're going to go with the number 7 horse here, Masterpiece. 7, 12, 4, 6 for me in the Super Facta. 7, 12, 4, 6 Super. Top selection, 7 horse, Masterpiece. 5 year old originally by Master Craftsman. Michael McCarthy trains. Train Van Dyke gets the mount. The horse's most recent on came the Delmore Handicap at Delmar. Mount 3 8 on the 21st of August. And he finished second by half length. Sat back early, stupidly wide, but it got a good turn of foot late. You know, 22 to 1 uh, that day. For him to get placed, I didn't think it was a half bad race. Come back here with a quicker pace, mile to quarter, which I think is a lot better trip for him. I think he's sitting on a very good race. Two back around the UN handicap at Mom at the mile rates on the 17th of July, and he finished ninth by eight and three quarter lengths. Stupidly wide throughout, and he just couldn't keep up with him, uh, up with the uh, the horses there. It wasn't his day to win around the three turn mile, the three eights there. Um, and then before that, the Manhattan at Belmont, a mile quarter, 5th of June. He finished six by seven quarter lengths. Again, yeah, a little bit of a wide trip, but was willingly late. Nothing bad about that run. Um, and, and then prior to that, at the uh, an allowance race, six to eight thousand key in the mile eighth, sixteenth of April. He uh, won by three quarters length. Again, sat back early, you know, he, but uh, he was gaining ground late, and he got the job done. Good, good race. Um, and then the North America debut last year in the Turf Classic uh, at Belmont, a mile and a half. He finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths there. He just kind of plodded along, uh, never weakened out of it, but never quickened out of it. You know, off the bench, he needed the race. But coming to a mile and a quarter here on very fast ground, I think he's sitting on a good run. Let's use him. Don't throw out the twelve horse Friars Road. He's making his sophomore debut on turf. Uh, you know, he, he won going a mile three eights very easily at uh, at Del Mar a few weeks ago. And I think with the, going to the mile and a quarter with Umberto Rispoli up, I think this horse is sitting on a very good run. A 15 to 1. Definitely use him in your multi. And United, you know, he, 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 this is not his best trip, mile and a quarter at Santanita, but he can win on paper. But he's the kind of horse, um, you know, I would like to see him a mile and a half. Um, you know, Hollywood Turf Cup in six weeks' time is probably his ideal race. But uh, here, a mile and a quarter, he, he could win, but I do prefer the other two before him. But to recap my selection for the 11th from Santanita, it's a John Henry Turf Championship. Let's take the seven horse masterpiece. We'll give kudos to the 12 horse Friars Road, my price. My Price pay. Uh, we'll go 7, 12, 4, 6, super. 7, 12, definitely in the multi race to end it off. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.